by special request, probably two years ago, a year ago, Muhammad, who's one of my original subscribers, wants to know my husband's perspective about being married to a flight attendant. So I'm gonna to attempt to do that in this video. What is the worst part of my job? The worst part of your job. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, everyone. My name's Elizabeth. I work for a major US carrier and I am headed to work a turn. And I, I put one earring in and then I was doing other stuff and I was like, oh, I put my other earring in. Now, right now, it is 12.05. I've got to run out of the house, go get a sandwich, I think, and go to the airport. He took the kids to church, and then I get home tonight about 7 p.m. So I'm gonna try and dig out the questions I had from before. If not, I'm just gonna make up the ones I think you might be interested in. <laughs> so I'm working a turn, I'm going to Salt Lake, coming back, easy. Doesn't pay very much, couldn't get rid of it. So let's go. Babe, what's the weirdest thing about my job? <gasps> Probably the weirdest thing about your job is that you don't work with the same people every time you work. <laughs> That's probably one of the weirdest things about your job. A lot of people don't realize that flight attendants have probably never ever met each other whenever they go to fly. It's like you, all of you, including the pilot and the co-pilot pilot, show up for a flight and you've never met each other at all. You all play different positions, different roles on the plane. Everyone's got their position and understands what the work is for that specific position, but you've never ever worked together, ever. And that's, I think, one of the craziest weird things about your job, as well as the pilots. The pilots, the pilot uh, has probably never ever met the co-pilot either. And so that's so interesting about the airline in industry and what you do. That's very true. <laughs> We just show up and go to work. Mr. Porter, hmm. I have another question for you. What's up? While he's eating his lunch. I'm not flying today. I'm supposed to fly tomorrow. I'm not sure if I want to, but what is the worst part of my job? The worst part of your <laughs> job? As a direct, as about you as a husband. As, for me as a husband? Yeah. <laughs> The worst part of my job, your job, mm -hmm. is literally scheduling. Scheduling is the absolute worst part of her job. When she's on a trip, she has to stay on that trip for however long. And it could be delayed flights, it could be weather, it could be situations like that. So whenever I have a hard and set schedule where I'm meeting clients and, and uh, you know showing houses, things like that that I do, and you're not at home because freaking scheduling has totally mess that up, or you're on a ready reserve, which means that you're on call. <sighs> yeah. So scheduling. I think that's a double-edged sword because sometimes it's the best because I haven't hardly worked since August, and sometimes it's the worst. I don't know that that's necessarily scheduling, though. That's really you kind of doing some things. Well, scheduling doesn't mess with me so much. But it's when it's when some stuff happens and they... Unexpected things. It's unexpected things. Okay. It's the unexpected factors to um, to the job. Okay. Yep. All right, today is Tuesday and I'm getting my hair done. Well, I'm getting ready. I hope you're enjoying the husband answers questions format for this video. I am gonna go downstairs and shoot another flight attendant reacts to funny videos. I love doing those because I love Charlotte Dobre. Do you guys watch Charlotte Dobre? She responds to funny videos and posts she finds on the internet. I find her freaking hilarious and I love her. So I'm gonna go shoot that. I am supposed to go on a two day tomorrow and I'm hoping, I kind of hope I get DRT. We just have a lot of stuff going on at the house. This coming weekend is the weekend before Halloween and we've got stuff like every single day. Tuesdays are super busy at our house so we've got a lot going on tonight. I need to go start defrosting some beef so I can make dinner but that's like real life at home. I was curling my hair and watching a TikTok live. Have you guys started Christmas shopping yet? Have you started Christmas shopping? What is today? I think today's the 25th of October so we're 60 days from Christmas. Have you guys started? Have you bought anything from TikTok Live yet? I'm gonna finish getting ready. I always feel self-conscious putting my makeup on with you guys. I'm not a makeup expert. Again, I still love this stuff. And do you guys mind if I post my Amazon storefront in the comments? So one of the things I've been doing, I've had a couple vlogs that I have started and then just didn't do anything with. One of them, so I have an Amazon affiliate account, if any of you guys are familiar with that, 
when I put links in the bio, if you go and you purchase something from that, then I do get a couple cents off that product. And I try not to bombard you with videos about buying things. All that to say, I've also recently become an Amazon influencer. So that means like I would make a video about this product and the video about this product goes on the Amazon page. And then anyone on Amazon who's shopping, if they watch my video and then purchase that product, I get a little cut from that. So that's what I've been working on when I'm not flying is building up my video library for the Amazon Influencer Program. Are any of you guys Amazon Influencers? Do you have any tips? Do you need any tips? <laughs> not that that's what this channel is about, but I'm just trying to do alternate streams of income. I don't know if I've mentioned that I am getting my real estate license, so that's been taking up time. So that's kind of some of the reasons why I haven't been flying a ton is because there's a lot of just stuff going on in the background. I'm just getting my real estate license to help my husband, who is a real estate agent. He just put the robes on the back and I had them on the inside so it would be like a clean palette. And that bothers me, I didn't close my closet door. See, look, there's a makeup bag that I reviewed in my Amazon must-haves for travel. I probably need to do another one of those, but I don't buy a ton. If the product's working for me, I don't necessarily go out and purchase other products. I'm monogamous when it comes to my travel. You know, I'm not necessarily just going out and purchasing things just to sell you or the YouTube audience things. Not that people who do a lot of Amazon videos are doing that, that's just my jam. So I'm gonna finish getting ready. I'm gonna continue this vlog. I kinda wanna fly, I kinda wanna work my two day and the way it's looking right now, that's gonna happen. Right now, as of right now, they're not showing any DRT being offered for tomorrow. DRT stands for daily release time. That's when they have more flight attendants than flying. So that's when they have like a lot of people on reserve and a lot of those reserve people are going to sit at home. So they just try to balance out the flying. I don't know, we'll see. I think it has to be posted by 2 p.m. Central. It is 1.15 Central. So I don't know, we'll see. Your girl might have to fly, so I might have to, like my bag is completely unpacked. I haven't like overnighted since August, since August. So I'm gonna get myself together and move on with my day. Okay, so one of the questions I get is safety. Mm -hmm. Not so much in the air, but like, do you have safety concerns? Safety concerns, okay. okay. So that would be you flying to a destination and then being safe at the destination. So. I say for the most part, yes. Okay, where I think I have a little bit more is um, I have a little bit more concern whenever you kind of go off the beaten path and you go off on the beaten path on your own. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I necessarily view New York City, Manhattan as being the safest areas at night at 2 a.m. I know that you can get a great- So many cops. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I, I, I'm not, I'm aware of that, but there's also little places that, that you, it's, it's getting to those locations. Yes. So I think it's that. And then I don't know about safety necessarily when it concerns um, overseas travel. So when you go to like places like Cuba or you go to places that, that are in Mexico and places mm -hmm. like that, that you have this overseas travel and in that destination, because I've, some of those locations I've never been to before. So I don't know how your safety is affected by that. And I also know that the airline is going to be responsible for you whenever, you know, you're in the air and you're right. on the airframe, on the aircraft, but when you're, you know, off your shift and you're kind of milling about through the city or whatever, yeah, there's a little bit of that, that concern that I have about that. But, but I think not that, enough to keep me at home. Not enough to keep you at home, no. It's just like any other business trip. Going on a business trip is a little bit more risky than being in a situation that you're, you're flying and you know you're being a flight attendant for that specific airline and you're at that city because usually you're staying right there pretty close to and there's your your base I mean, not your base but your your hotel your right and hotel. our crews know like okay well where's elizabeth and mm -hmm. we keep in contact so bottom line common sense and good judgment common sense and good judgment which is not what happens at business conventions as much no that's that's Safe. a different topic for another day yeah <laughs> all right thank you you bet <laughs> okay, so where are we going tomorrow? We're going to New York City. Let's take your husband to work day. We're sitting here in bed. I'm, I'm about to go to bed. He's got to still run to the airport. Yeah. 
and pick up his mom. <laughs> We've both taken allergy pills to help us get drowsy. Yeah. If you've been on my channel for any length of time, I'm not an AM flyer. The alarm's going off at 3.20. She's actually one of the worst, okay? Because <laughs> here, here's the deal, no kidding. It will be flip, flip, flip. Flip, 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 And it'll be like that until 3.20 yeah. or whatever, and the alarm will go off. And it'll be, okay, let's get up. And I'll well, be like, aren't you exhausted because I'm freaking exhausted right now? Yeah. That's still what's going to happen. But tomorrow's one leg to LaGuardia. There's 15 empty seats straight there. He can sleep. And then we're meeting up with friends yeah. to have lunch, and then we're going to do some exploring downtown. Yep. He's gonna go get his mom. Yep. I'm gonna go to sleep. Are we going to Central Park? I don't know. We're going to Central Park. Okay. Then, and then we go to Central Park and we ride a horse. Well, there's horses in Central Park, right? But you don't ride them. You don't ride them? No, it's their horse-drawn carriage. Oh, okay. So we, we, we do the horse-drawn carriage? I don't know, see how much that costs. Ooh, <laughs> that would be pretty cool. All right, yeah. okay. I will see you at O Dark Thirty. Wait, wait. Are, are we are we gonna eat pizza she over there? Talking. New York pie. I don't huh? know. But we're not doing any. You know, I I mean, what would be okay. super cool is to go All to right. that. You know. Goodbye. <laughs>
being able to see friends when I'm on the road and my husband and I got engaged in New York City it was December 20th. I'll have to look it up in the photos. We got engaged at the Statue of Liberty. So New York City's a, a special place to us and we have just not been able to make it back. Life gets just busy. It was monumental. Monumental. <laughs> We're gonna hang out a little bit tonight. We probably will avoid the tree, but I really wanna go by and see the Saks Fifth Avenue and the Macy's windows. So it's hopefully, the tree. well, it's near. It's, it's off at the tree. Fifth Avenue, <laughs> Fifth Avenue. So we're gonna go see what we can see. I'm still full. I haven't even tried the Sicilian pizza. Maybe we'll get something sweet to eat. I don't know. We'll see what tonight happens. If I'm tired, it's fine. I have two flights tomorrow, but I'm working one from LaGuardia to Houston. We're booked to like 70 out of 175 seat aircraft. Then I sit in Houston for two hours and 45 minutes and then I deadhead from Houston to Memphis. So easy day tomorrow. And then you guys, I'm not going anywhere in Memphis. I'm gonna sit in my room and recover from what we're doing today because your girl's not an AMer. But we're gonna go out. We're gonna see some sights. We'll see, I got a new iPhone and we'll see how it does in low light. It's supposed to do better in low light. And we're, we're gonna go out. We're gonna see what we can see. It's uh, 4.38 a.m. <laughs> We're, our, our wagons are a dragon. We're headed down to the lobby. We had a good time. Did you have a good time? I had a great time. So, totally worth coming. Yeah. Really, really fun. Yeah. And mm -hmm. now we're going to go to the airport and part ways. Um, well, we're, yeah. He's going to go to Denver and I'm going to Houston. Yeah. Let's go. on the plane. My crew is coming from our airport hotel. So first one here, my husband is two gates down, headed back to Denver. Good time. I am tired, but good. When I walked on the plane, I was like, no, this is one of our oldest 800s. You can tell by the seat color because it's the two-tone seats and it doesn't have the galley up front for C. But this plane, we're only taking like 70 people, 65 people, so it won't be too bad. This is the only one I work today. And then I sit in Houston, and I'm gonna I'm very, very much thinking about taking a nap in the lounge. And then I fly to Memphis. I'm not sure how far it is from Houston to Memphis. So, and that's the day I can make it. But the Starbucks line and then the Duncan line looked too long. I did not get coffee. So I'm a little sad. I'm gonna have to make some. Oh, all right, let's go. I am on my dead head. I'm so tired. <laughs> I passed out in the lounge for about an hour. I don't think I've ever done that. So. I'm tired. It's yucky out. But we're not delayed. Yay! I'm ready to go back to sleep. <laughs> Memphis, oh, struggling with my luggage. Um, the crew that worked that flight is the crew that I work with tomorrow. 
I am so tired. We're here, we're in Memphis. My hair is done for the day. So we're at a different hotel. We used to be downtown and they moved us. I don't know why, but, cause if you remember, I did Memphis and we walked to the Civil Rights Museum. So now we're not downtown, but I'll give you a little room tour and I'll tell you about the day. All right, bathroom, really nice bathroom with the shower that I think I wanna get in for like the next 45 minutes. <laughs> and then a nice room, king bed, feels really comfy. The bed last night was not comfy. And they give us like sack lunches, snacks, which I'll show you what's inside that. Oh man, your girl looks tired. <laughs> so yesterday, we went to Queens, we had amazing soup dumplings with friends, and then they even took us by to get some Sicilian pizza, and then they drove us to the E-Line, if you're familiar with New York, it's a train, where we only had to do three stops to go into the city. So they dropped us off at that, and we took the subway in, and then that is very, very close to our hotel and really had a good time. We had to stop, I had to drop all my crap off at the hotel, get checked in, and then Clint had to do a little bit of work. He's showing houses today, he had to set showings. So I'm really thankful for our flexibility. I'm so thankful he got to come with me to New York and he's home working and I'm here working and so I was glad we got to make that happen. So, so they lit the tree in New York City yesterday and it's a big thing, thousands upon thousands of people, and we inadvertently got caught in like this flood of people because we were going to go see this, the decorations at Saks Fifth Avenue, not knowing that the decorations were directly across from the tree. So we got caught in this like sea of people. I think Clint got video of it. It's just where everyone is pressed up against each other eventually we're able to move through and past the tree and then out the other side. So it was crazy, crazy. So then we walked down to 34th Street and went down to Macy's and I just watched Miracle on 34th Street at home. So we went to Macy's to see their windows, went in and used the bathroom. If you're in New York City, you can go to Macy's and use their bathroom. We also stopped and got some chocolates. I've got two chocolates left from the Lint Chocolatier store, Lint Chocolate store. Then we went up back around, cause it's like a square. We went, the here was the um, tree. We go down to 34th, over to Macy's. Then we went up to, I think 7th, and went back down to Times Square. And then we have a place that we really like, a taco place. I think it's Loco, Taco, Loco, Loco. I can't remember but they make amazing street tacos. So we had street tacos, and then we walked back to the hotel. It's just a rectangle, wonderful. By the time we got back to the hotel, I could barely move. We walked about six miles. I'm beat. So didn't get a ton of sleep. The bed was so hard, so hard. So worked the flight this morning, if you can say worked. Really lucky, only had 65 people on a plane that seats 175. I just handed out snacks and the other three flight attendants did drinks and service was done in an instant. And then we just periodically went through with trash and checked on people. That was a three and a half hour flight to Houston. I went up to the crew lounge and I took a nap in their quiet room. I have never done that. And then, okay, you guys, so I have this company jacket that has a lining. Well, the lining I had with me isn't the one that fits this jacket. Somewhere I lost it. It might have fallen out because it wasn't like zipped in. I think it fell out in the crew room. So I might call them and just tell them to keep it. I don't know. I have a lot of jackets, so that's crazy. But now we're here in Memphis and I am so tired. Let's look in the lunch sack. Let's see what we got. Cranberry beverage, a blueberry muffin, peach yogurt. I am hungry. I, um, I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna veg. And I wanna thank you for joining me today on this ask my husband questions, go on a trip with my husband kind of vlog. And this is gonna be the end because your girls, see that? I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna sit over there and this is it. So. 
I will see you guys next time in the sky.